Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about solving systems of three equations with elimination. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help to use Minute Math. We're given this problem right here. 6r minus s plus 3t equals a negative 9. 5r plus 5s minus 5t equals 20. And lastly, 3r minus s plus 4t equals negative 5. And we need to solve this system by elimination. Well, our first equation, if I rewrite it here, 6r minus s plus 3t equals negative 9. And I combine that, right, our second equation, our third equation, sorry, as 3r uh, minus s plus 4t equals negative 5. I picked these two because if I subtract the second one, we can see that we will eliminate the s variable, hence solved by elimination. So we get a new equation. What's that? 6r minus a 3r is, well, 3r. Negative s minus a negative s, adding a positive s, that was the whole point, s is cancel. 3t minus 4t is a negative t. And negative 9 minus a negative 5, or adding a positive 5 to it, is a negative 4. So we have 3r minus t equals a negative 4 here. Well, hmm, we got to find another equation here. A lot of times we multiply something here uh, to cancel out, but we also can divide. And if we notice, our we have 5s here and a single 1s right here. This second equation, if we divide by 5 or multiply by like a 1 fifth, a lot cancels out. So what happens when we do that? Well, 1 fifth times 5r is just a 1r, or divide by 5, same thing. Divide this by 5, and we have just an s. Divide this one by 5, we have a t, and minus a t, and then 20 divided by 5 is a 4. That's a much simpler looking equation. We bring down the third equation here, 3r, minus an s, so minus an s here, plus 4t equals negative 5, and look, we add them together and we will eliminate the s's. So it's kind of tricky here. Four, uh, <laughs> r plus 3r is a 4r, the s's cancel when we add them together, and negative t plus 4t is a positive 3t. And then 4 uh, added to negative 5, it has a negative 1. Okay? Now we have 4r plus 3t equals negative 1. Hmm. Well, how can I maybe combine these two to eliminate a variable? This equation here, if I multiply it by 3, I have negative 3t and positive 3t here. And it would cancel. So to multiply it by 3, I'm, I get a 9r here minus 3t equals a negative 12. Bring this equation over here. We have 4r plus 3t equals a negative 1. Now if we add these two equations, we have 9r plus 4r is 13r. The t's cancel. Negative 3t plus 3t is just 0. And that equals, well, negative 12 plus a negative 1, negative 13. Divide both sides by 13, and r equals a negative 1. So we have r equals a negative 1. 1 here. Well, what can we do with that? We need to get another variable. We'll solve for another variable, all right? Well, where am I? Which one am I going to pick here? I got a C. Oh, right here. <laughs> I can plug that r equals negative 1 to get my t value. All right, so I'm going to do that. Take this equation here, 4 times negative 1 plus 3t equals a negative 1, and we can solve for t. 4 times negative 1 is negative 4 plus 3t equals negative 1. Add a 4 to both sides, 3t equals a positive, well, negative 1 plus a 4 is a positive 3. Divide both sides by 3, and t equals 1. So t equals 1 right there, and r equals negative 1. So what we have to do now is pick one of our equations, okay, and solve, well, for uh, the last missing variable there to get, uh, what is it, s, we haven't found yet, okay? So we pick one of our equations, and I think this is the easier one, the bottom one. So we have 3 
And instead of r, I'll pick a negative 1 plus or minus, sorry, whoops, it's a minus an s value. So we minus the s value, which we don't know. I'm going to take our time here, so I'll mess up here. And then 4 times our t value, which we found to be a positive 1. And that equals a negative 5. And so now we can solve this, well, for s. 3 times negative 1 to the negative 3 minus s, and 4 times 1 is 4, equals negative 5. Negative 3 plus 4 is a positive 1, so negative s plus 1 equals negative 5. Subtract 1 to both sides, and we have negative s equals a negative 6. Divide both sides by negative 1, and s equals a positive 6. And so we have our r, our s value, and our t value. We can write as a coordinate point as negative 1, comma 6 in the order they give it to us, comma positive 1 for the t. And so our final answer here is r equals negative 1. Uh, what's the next one? S is 6, and t is a positive 1. Hope this video was helpful for you, and if it was, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and like this video. This helps us make more free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching. Minute math, minute math, when you need help, you use minute math.